Hey, it's Eric from Sensory Dead, I mean Super Dead, and Batman, and we wanted to talk about how we're getting into more organized sports now. Now, at first it was a challenge uh, for, for us to think about doing anything like that. Whenever we would have any kind of failures in an athletic event or even at a birthday party, um, what would happen? Yeah, we'd get mad. Get a little mad and upset, right? Yeah, because of Batman. So what happens now with your superpowers when you get upset? You're able to do what with it? Huh? Kind of use it. Kind of overcome? The bad power. And not give in to the bad things so much, right? Yeah. So the other night, um, our Saba Nim, uh, who, who's a great guy, uh, amazing guy that's been a great influence on Leo, has, has been very helpful in teaching him Tung Su Do. And Leo is progressing through the ranks and, and doing really well and learning how to protect himself. And what we've seen is there's a direct correlation with him taking on more responsibility and learning more forms and, and being diligent enough to practice at home, uh, you know, in, in relationship to his siblings and, and even his family life. You know, he, he seemed to have grown up through the process of earning more belts and, and doing more complex forms and breaks. And, and the more that we put on him, the better he seems to be doing with it because we are challenging him so much. So the other night we're walking out of class and, and uh, Ron, you know. Hey, Ron says, and Ron said he wanted to talk to me and you know so we all went into class and I know that my youngest had been acting out in class so I said okay, okay here we go what's this about and boy did he have a lot of praise for Leo and how well he's been doing in class and and Leo said one of the greatest things in the world for a dad to hear and, and can you explain what you said? I said you can take two paths easy path which is you don't listen, and you get in super trouble, and you don't learn anything. Or the good path, you get lots of things, and you learn, you listen to whoever is teaching you. So if you take the bad path, you'll get spanking. So basically we see the evolution that Leo is self-aware now to realize that um, there are, you know, implications to acting out in class. And even whenever he gets angry now, he might still scream. And that's happened a couple times this week. He might still get upset. But he's able to control it and, and get away from the situation before it really blows up. Yeah, that's me. Last night at soccer. So, yeah, we had another great night at soccer, and we've had two consecutive, is this two days in a row of blue? Yep. Which is one of the better, you know, behaviors that we have, you know, and in the school. And Logan Elementary. So, we're, we're very excited about this. Um, you know, small victories, obviously, you know, every day is different, but, you know, two, two great days for him, two great soccer practices. You know, we continue to evolve, but, you know, I just wanted to say we couldn't do this without a team. You know, Ron, our, our Sabanim, and, you know, a good friend of the family has been a great influence on us. You know, the babysitters that we've had, the social workers that we had. I had a meeting today. Um, we're going to maintain Leo's uh, program with his wraparound services and his BSC. Uh, you know, it's been great so far, but... The class is at half mast. You know, we only have 50% of the capacity in the classrooms right now. The teachers are still rehashing a lot of what we saw last year as far as his curriculum. I mean, I can tell you that uh, a lot of the stuff they're sending home doesn't even, you know, in my opinion, not, not really where it needs to be. So, I think we have more work to do, guys. I really do. Um, I think we're going to continue to progress. Just really proud right now. Just wanted to get this guy, you know, up here to talk about what he said about the good path and the bad path. And a lot of growth. I got in trouble. Did I get in trouble when I was in kindergarten? Yeah. And went up and down a hill down the street. Yeah, we. Uh, and down and up and down and up and down. 
Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, yeah, we had him run his butt off whenever he got in trouble. So, you know, physical challenges were, were the way to go with correction for us, you know, and that worked out. Anyway, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel if you can, like the videos, follow along with how we're progressing, you know, and with Leo and the sensory needs. Uh, just a really great day. So really excited. Thanks a lot for following us, guys. Good